Archem Insignia has a very powerful tool called the Font Editor that allows me to edit any of the characters within a font that's loaded into the system. Archem Insignia uses all the true type fonts that you have loaded onto your copy of Windows and will let you access any of those as you can see here. One of the problems with true type fonts is they were not designed to really be used for machining. So if I take this and type out some text that we've got here, you can see that I end up with a problem on the P that's been highlighted by Insignia in red and with this white circle to show me there's a problem. Now I can go in and very quickly fix that using Insignia's tools. The problem is that's always going to occur whenever I use this font. So it would be much better if I went in once and fixed it and then knew that it was always going to be OK in the future. Using the font editor will actually let me do that. So what we're going to do is just close that file and go into the font editor and I'm going to create that font that we've got there and what I can do with that now is select the character that I want to edit which was the uppercase P and I have all of Arcam's vector editing and design tools at my disposal to change this. So what I'm able to do is go in, use the vector doctor in order to identify the problem select it, go into the node editing, delete where I think the problem node is, re-identify to make sure it's OK and remove that and there I have a new fixed P so I know that's going to be OK. Now on top of this I can edit the font in order to do things of my own choosing as well. For instance I can actually take this and change the design of the font uh, if I feel the need to do so, if I would like to have that flexibility. I can go into here and decide exactly how I would like this to look and make my own unique ornate designs. So I've changed the H there, we've changed the P, I'm happy with that so I'm going to give it a different name and we're going to save that font. Now when we go back into Insignia we'll create a new model bring up our new font which will be listed at the top now as a separate font to our original so we don't overwrite the original it doesn't affect any of the other software on your computer go into there, type out the same name accept that and we can see everything is good with it there are no problems there and I've got my new slightly changed H as well as my fixed P very very powerful tool, very useful uh, and extremely easy to make the changes you need so that they'll always be made and you know you won't have to keep doing it in the future.